Hey everybody, Jared of Second Life Design. Welcome back to Milling Monday. Tonight we are wrapping up the three-part series on log trailers. Uh, tonight going over what I referred to in earlier videos as the best log trailer on the planet. Uh, this would be the, the propane tank hauler, the, the big arch style, just a single arch where you use a winch in the front and going up and then down to pick your logs up. I covered this very extensively in my channel and there's a reason I call it the best log trailer on, a, on the planet, because it is. If you are just hauling logs, big logs, small logs, many logs, doesn't matter, that will do it. That is the easiest to rig, the quickest, the just the all around best trailer for moving logs I have ever used. If the one I had was not in such rough shape and not really intended for the heavier weights I was getting, I would have kept that for getting logs without a doubt. It works fantastic. I could go and get things and be gone in 10 minutes. You know, from the time I back up to hooking up the winch to strapping it down it was less than 10 minutes. And a lot of times in a single motion where I would find the center point of the log, you know, get my chain around it, my strap around it, pick it straight up, put the cross members in, strap it down and down the road. I, yeah, I, I love that trailer. The thing moved a lot of logs for me and it worked really well. I, I, I kind of, I'm hesitant to recommend people getting one because they are so damn hard to find. They are, if they're used for propane hauling or anhydrous tanks or whatever, the companies that have them, they run them till they're, till they're scrap and then they get rid of them. It is very, very rare to find one that's in good shape. If you do, it's very rare to find one that has suspension. Uh, that's something they really generally don't have, just the nature of what of their shape, where there's no center, there's no cross members in them that are fixed. There's no real way to get a solid axle under it. So for going down the road applications, it is not the best. If you can find one with suspension and has rated tires for it, I would jump all over that. I don't know what a fair cost is, but they are. it'll be well worth whatever you pay for it, because that style of trailer is, it's awesome. I, I wish I could find a good one that was reasonably priced. You know, they're just so few and far between that whenever someone sends me, you know, they'll send me a message on Instagram, says, hey, I found this, do you think this is a good price? I'm like, yes, buy it. If it's not rusted out, if it's all intact, if it'll work for the, you know, the size of things you wanna do, grab it, you will not regret it. That being said, I, like the, t the type of trailer I have now, the swinging arch style, the Cremona trailer, because it's a flatbed, so I can use it for other things. You know, that's kind of the, the trade-off I have where it is, in my opinion, it, it, the, the swinging arch style, the Cremona trailer, it picks up logs just fine. It takes a little bit more rigging practice and a little bit more time and takes some more adjustments and whatever, but the trade-off is I get a flatbed. Where with the, the tank hauler style, you got that. That's it. So that was my trade-off. I wanted a flatbed. I lost a little bit of ability in in use, but that's what it is. Yeah, I cover the, I cover these pretty extensively already, guys. So I don't want to get too much into that. You know, you know the pros and cons. They're very obvious. I've covered them before. You know, I just want to share my thoughts on getting them. I don't know where you get them. You know, I've I've seen a lot of people find them on auction sites, you know, of small companies getting rid of them, gas companies, local people getting rid of them. You just got to know what to look for. I think it's not really, it's not something for a beginning logging person, you know, beginning log jockey. You got to be pretty into it to know what you're looking for and what you need. So yeah, it, it's a tough one. They are, they are a jackpot if you can find a good one. So yeah, it, it's a tough fight, but you will not regret it. If you do the searching, if you look around, you will find one. I've had many people, many, many people ask about building them, and I would not recommend that for most people. I don't think the majority of people have the know-how, and simply because that there's no suspension. So you, you need some heavy-duty spindles. You need some heavy-duty agriculture-type fabrication experience. If you have that, go for it. For most people, I would not recommend trying to build one because it, there's a lot of engineering that goes into something so simple. It just seems like it's, you know, it's just an arch and you just have a winch and it's, you know, another arch, you know, the hoop is the frame. And all. there's a lot that goes into that that needs to be just right and centered just right. 
I would leave that to professionals, find one that's already made, and go with that. I would not recommend building one. Um, and thinking of all the different log trailer types out there, also, I am thinking of other alternatives, things that I've not seen a bunch of, but I think would work, would be uh, like a landscape dump trailer, you know, like a your regular a dump trailer, like, you know, a landscaper would have for dumping dirt or mulch or rock, some way of having a winch in the bed of that and some kind of an arch at the back to pick the nose of the log up. I think there's something there uh, that would be, if you already have one, there's an easy way of rigging that up, I think, to make that work. And then it'd be really easy to get rid of things. It'd be really easy to dump them out. So there's something there. Uh, tilt deck equipment trailers. You know, if you have one of the heavy equipment trailer, a 14,000, 12,000 pound trailer that has a hydraulic tilt on it, there's something there as well, where if you had a winch mounted to the tilting portion to drag things on, there would be an easy way of moving logs there. So there's, those are kind of the anomaly options. That's something would probably be best suited if you already had the trailer, you wouldn't go out and purchase it. Those are pretty high dollar things. And that's not my style. I, I do it for, do it for the cheap and try and make it easy. That's, that's where I go with. So that's what I got tonight, guys. I hope that helps. I've covered the, the second two style, the swinging arch and the propane tank hauler. I've, I've covered those a lot on my channel. There's a lot of other good, good videos on that. Um, search on there. You'll go through the archives. You'll find some good stuff. I hope this wasn't a waste of your time as far as, you know, just kind of a clickbait thing, trying to find the, you know, just get more titles out there and get more views. It's not my goal. I want to try and drill down different things and different thoughts about each type as we were going along. So I, I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, you can find me on Instagram at Second Life Design. You can always drop a comment down below here. I'm pretty good about responding to those. I'm kind of working that into my timeline to respond to questions or try and follow up with people on things as they need them. So you can try on here or on Instagram. And anything else, let me know. Thanks, guys.